in today's video, uh, I'll be teaching my young apprentice over there how, to, or not so young, on how to fit a uh, tow bar to a Ducato. Okay, today we're going to be fitting a tow bar and electrix kit to a Fiat Ducato. Uh, this will be probably one of the easier jobs um, to start with, um, that's the plan anyway. Uh, but top tip, these are from PF Jones, they do the tow bar and electric kit on their site, they also do it via eBay. And the top tip is obviously this van is the same as um, a Peugeot and a Relay. So when you search on eBay, um, if you actually search for Persia rather than Ducato or Relay, you may actually find the same items cheaper. So for instance, the electrics kit here is a dedicated electrics kit, um, and uh, you can see it's exactly the same for the uh, Citroen, Fiat and Peugeot, but it was 20 quid cheaper to buy it um, with the advert saying Peugeot. Don't ask me why, same part number, same everything else. Um, so just, that's just a top tip. Um, and also, if you can wait, PF Jones do appear on the eBay uh, discounts occasionally, so we got 20% off as well. So, quite a bargain. And um, anyway, we'll see how much of a bargain it is and see if it fits. Job one is to remove eight Torx bolts. There's four on the top, and there's four underneath, which Mel's now uh, trying to find. On the offside rear corner, uh, if you've got reverse sensors, you can follow the wire and there's a rubber grommet that goes into the van hole and you pull that out and behind there we've got a connector cable for reversing sensors. Um, so that, that will just pop back in and seal the hole afterwards. So we can just disconnect that and uh, obviously I'll put it straight on the wire when we take the bumper off. Once those uh, things are unclipped, the step just pulls off and you're left with uh, one bolt, which is a 16 mil bolt and behind the uh, nut um, which is, comes through the weld, which is a 15 mil nut, um, and they just need to be taken out. Once those two screws or uh, nuts and bolts are off, the um, old crash bar just pulls off gently. Um, some of the instructions I read before we did this uh, suggested you need to drill a third hole, um, but for some reason we've actually just got a bit of masking tape or um, tape over it, which when you pull off um, actually gives us um, the nutted thread um, already. So we should be able to offer up the toolbar and uh, mount it and then see what else we need to do. Alright, so you can see we just dropped the nut in the hole uh, towards the rear of the van so there's no chance of losing it. And then we've just got to sort of fettle it. A um, bit of a screwdriver in the hole helps, just so it drops into the hole like that. Okay. And then once they're both in the hole, we can use the remaining bracket. Um, which would then bolt through into that new hole um, and the tow bar mount from the front. So once that bolts in finger tight, um, everything's still a bit loose, the last part is just to bolt on uh, this member through those holes and uh, into the chassis where there is a nice existing hole as well. Um, they've also got the right size bolts for you to go all the way through, nice and easy. So once fitted, we just need to torque up all the bolts. Uh, you need a selection of 15, 17 and 19 mil and uh, a torque range up to about 72 Newton meters. It's documented as to the uh, torque for each size bolt. Um, that's the chassis joiner. So there's two nuts there and there's one. That's the long bolt going through at the top. Um, fairly straightforward to be honest. Um, it's nice and secure. For the electrics, we're going for a just a standard seven pin setup, but using a dedicated kit, um, because also I don't want to break the warranty on the van. Um, so we've got a wiring loom, um, some electronics, and uh, a manual. So it looks like we have to get that wiring loom in that pillar somewhere to the lights, that one in that pillar, wire up the uh, box there, and this one going to the front for power. So we'll see what we need to do. There's a convenient uh, grommet um, in each uh, bottom corner which you can take out and then feed all the cables through. So you can just poke that through the hole and get them through to the top. So 
So in the cab under the floor is the battery and you can see where the negative terminal is connected to the van um, and there's the terminal on the battery so we need to disconnect that. Now in this van you can't just take the battery off, um, basically you have to go inside, close all the doors and windows, don't lock the van, don't have the ignition on and then wait a couple of minutes um, and then you can disconnect the battery and isolate it. You can't do it straight away. If you do, uh, you can cause problems with the computer. Uh, the same way when you want to reconnect it, all doors and windows need to be closed, no ignition key, um, and then connect it. Wait several seconds until the ignition on, and then wait a minute uh, before you do anything else, um, and then you can open the doors. So it's worth printing off the instructions before you actually get in the van. Wiring electric kits quite straightforward up to your point. Uh, I'm doing the socket and getting the wires through is fine. Swapping the bulbs, um, connectors are fine, and the positioning of the electronic box is all okay. The only gotcha is when you need to break into the um, the reversing sensor controller, and it tells you to uh, snip wire on pin six, but it doesn't actually tell you the colour or anything else like that. Now, fortunately, the self-built forum had a thread on this a while ago. Um, so very many thanks to them again and they said that you can see numbers one and five written on here just so one's bottom left and five is bottom right that therefore means the green and black cable um, is pin six so that's the one we're going to cut okay about four hours later the uh, two minute job um, it wasn't uh, first of all the bumper is a bit wider than the tow bar manual so I had to actually take quite a big chunk out from underneath for it to um, fit flush. Um, but the main other, other problem is trying to get the live feed. You're supposed to get two wires um, through to the engine and connect into this little fuse box here. Now you can take the headlight unit out um, to access the fuse box which is fine, but then there's no way into the fuse box that I can actually use. Um, and I'm not drilling holes in the fuse box or battery cover. So trying to get power, um, yeah, absolute pig. So I'm actually going to do a, a job I um, plan to do anyway. Um, but first of all, we'll run the power for the tow bar um, just across through the framework um, and hanging out down the bottom. So what we've done, um, we've got the converter socket um, wired up um, just with live. We don't really need neutral on this and piggybacks the um, the tow bar electric fuse box um, so they'll be pinned into there and a couple of fuses and this was our battery to battery um, master switch so when this is finished this will sit up here um, so we can disconnect all the van electrics with just a single switch so connecting that to live um, is just doing this job a bit early um, but it gives us a fused live feed for the um, for the tow. Um, as I said, four hours of buggering around. Um, this is the only way I can fathom of doing it. So a few days later, um, we ordered a double step um, just to test out. We were concerned it would get in the way of the reversing sensors, um, but it doesn't. Which is brilliant. Um, and then we had to order some extra long bolts because obviously the ones we came with the tow bar didn't go all the way around the back. We are trying to get the wire to the fuse box, so we're now bringing in the power cable for the uh, towing system through the van and down here, connecting it through to the converter socket. So we've had to do this a bit earlier than expected, but we've connected through um, to the 50 amp feed from the converter socket. Um, and that goes through to uh, an isolator. Now this isolator will be using this to connect to the battery to battery system um, but at the moment it's not connected but on the live side we've basically connected the towing fuse box um, which the tow basically says it just connects through to a live inside the engine bay. So um, yeah not, not, not what we wanted to do but um, once this is all finished off it'll be really neat and uh, it means we haven't actually um, affected any of the van um, OEM wiring um, we've just connected into an interface which they provided for us. So happy days, uh, everything seems to be working and the tow bar project is complete.